analyst and uh, well from my knowledge of both keepers they are we, we did we respectfully differ on oath keepers my name is, the, my live, name is Joe. the live stream the and I am, why are you here excuse me hold on one minute can, go, um, go ahead can we see your sign can we see your sign oh yeah sure i have two signs NYPD. Mm-hmm. So, how do you? How, what's the best way for? So, why? NYPD, watch inside job and then join us. So, how do you? What, what's what? It, so, it, it's like a conundrum, right? I mean, like everyone says that you know the cops are just following orders. Um, don't don't blame them. But then people also say that... Uh, NYPD, watch, inside job, that, uh, then join us. That sounds simple. But then people also say that, you know, <laughs> of, 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 you know that you can't... You can't... Uh, uh, they are making their own decisions. Where do you see that? Where do you draw the line? What's the... How is it... How do you reach out? What will change that about cops? Do they do... Do you suggest they well, defy you're not, orders you're not, or I'm, do we you, go above them? Or? I'm not, yeah, you have to go to. How do you, you have solve to the rid, You have to get rid of corporate America. You have to get rid of the powers that they have. You have to greatly control um, every transaction and what's going on there. And basically, you have to make them impotent because as long as they have the power, they're going to continue to exploit and manipulate the working class. All, all the cops are they're they're just uh, workers for the one uh, percent, and they don't even realize they're being exploited. What kind of relationship do you have with the cops? Or do they see you as being one of them? Or they're trying to get me arrested. They're trying to get you arrested. And I may, I may disappear. Okay. Uh, but as soon as I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to go to prison. But as soon as I'm let out of jail, I'll be right back here, and they'll have to arrest me again. <laughs> and is it happened to all of us? At least a lot of us, at least once or twice already. So you won't be alone. Do you see any? Is your do you get like any sense of this camaraderie with, with any of them? Oh no, are aligned no, no, With you or I'm all of them? I'm their worst enemy. Really? Especially with the white shirts, the bosses. Okay, some of the fellow cops, they may be thinking, you know, that guy he's got a point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the bosses, I'm their number one enemy, and they always take out the leader of a group. That's why if you ever, ever have, you have a cop in here asking, I mean, undercover, you know, he's in plain clothes and all, and he's asking, who's the leader of this group? Who's the leader? That's a cop. Okay, because they always want to take out the leaders. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. Right Is our leader? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm really a real cop. Do you have any suggestions uh, for civilians, yeah, 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 yeah. myself? You know, should we, should we, like take precautions towards. Um, you know, well, act peacefully. Don't, 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 don't confront them. Because you're going to lose physically, 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 okay? They tell you to move, move, obey every order they give you. Mm-hmm. And if you think they're illegal orders, get in touch with the ACLU and uh, get them involved. And the fact that they, I'm told that they confiscated all the tents and the sleeping bags and whatnot, and they trashed them. I don't know if that's true, but if that is true to me, that's theft. Mm-hmm. And they should be arrested. But it may not be, I don't know how true that is. But I know they confiscated it. Uh Whether they trashed it or not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It might be in a place where people can go and get it. Yes. Uh, So what's going on with regards to the NYPD? What exactly is going on here? Who do they take orders from? Why have they been beating people? (laughs) Is it it legal? And and how does it work in the structure? As far as the the chain of command, is it going from the commander-in-chief uh, it's, going from the, it's going from the somewhere. mayor. It's going from the mayor. And who's telling the mayor? No, we, like, he, he's, 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 he's independent here. He, this is his city, okay? And the police commissioner works for the mayor. And the mayor is telling the police commissioner how he wants this handled. And then the police commissioner sends it down to all the other top-ranking white shirts. Now, occupations all over the country are being evicted over the past three days and continuing. It seems like a, a collective effort. Um, do, is, is that... Is that crazy, or is there cooperation between 
all states to try to squash the Occupy well, movement. Well, there's cooperation between all corporate, of Amer all corporate America. But that doesn't mean that it's it's the feds. It just means that it's... Doesn't mean it's the feds? Yeah, because people say, oh, that it, it's, it's the FBI, it's the CIA. If it's everybody... Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll be in on it. Everybody will be in on it if this continues to grow. Mm -hmm. Right now, they think the uh, official city police or township police can handle these occupations. But if it continues to grow, you're going to see a lot more of the... Uh, FBI and everything else. Okay. Did you have any, like, just more words of wisdom to how to basically better understand? It's, I think there's a real lack of understanding on myself, definitely, of exactly, like, the mentality of a police officer. They, well, off duty, would never take a, you know, baseball bat and beat anybody up, but on duty feels completely justified. Um, it, is it just being told that that's his job, or is it, what is it? Okay. It's, it's a job, first of all, you can only use, you should, okay, by law, only use force to protect someone's life or to protect them from being bodily injured, okay? If you're not protecting somebody's life or protecting them from bodily injury, there's no need to use force. And the number one thing that they always have in their favor that they seldom use is negotiation. Continue to talk and talk and talk to people. You have nothing to lose by that. But this bull rush, what happened last night, is totally uncalled for when they did not use negotiation long enough. Negotiation, there's never a downside to negotiation. And they complained about the park being dirty. Here they are worrying about dirty parks when people are starving to death, where people are freezing, where people are sleeping in subways, and they're concerned about a dirty park. That's, that's obnoxious, it's arrogant, it's ignorant, it's, it's disgusting that they would spend so much time getting you people out here so they can clean the park. It's a farce. <laughs> and then when they clean it, they didn't bring us uh, back up any of the garbage bins to throw anything away. Yeah, yeah, see? Analyst and, uh, well, from my knowledge of Oath Keepers, they are. We, we, did, we respectfully differ on Oath Keepers. My name is, the my live, name is Joe. The live stream, the and I am.